Okay, we're here with the new rising star of indie cars. Well, really not new. She's been around a little while. Uh, Simona Di Silvestro, welcome to Oversteer TV. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay. Uh, well, let's get started with, um, you had kind of a bad, but in a way, good weekend in, in uh, Sao Paulo in Brazil. You had the accident starting to race on Sunday, but then you turned around the next day starting many laps down. You were the fastest car out there. Yeah, you know, it was, uh, we were strong the whole weekend, you know, we, we missed first practice because we had a problem with the car, but then uh, we are quick in the practices. Qualifying didn't quite go like we wanted to, but uh, we were pretty confident going into the race and actually the, uh, but unfortunately at the start, you know, we kind of got caught into, we were kind of at the wrong place at the wrong moment and uh, got caught in the accident at the start, so it was a, uh, pretty unfortunate and um, you know and then we we went out on Monday and we were really quick you know we uh, passed pretty much uh, almost all the cars out there and uh, you know we could have had a really good result but uh, uh, that's racing and you can't really change what, what happens at the start or if you uh, uh, in a wreck like that you know well with the start of the race on Sunday it looked like your car wasn't damaged very much or anything was there any way to get you back out there or did the cleanup crew said no yeah, well, uh, that was kind of the biggest debate we were having. You know, I was trying. I wanted to stay in the car because I knew only really the front wing was uh, was broken, and but uh, because of Danica being under my car, it was a little bit kind of too dangerous. So they made me kind of go out, and uh, we were actually ready to go out, but then they red flagged the race. So it was just kind of all the circumstances kind of didn't go our way this weekend. Mm -hmm. hey, well, you have been quite well. Last year you impressed me, and you impressed a lot of people. But now it seems like. That's the big news now, how good you are and how, how much you've improved and you're like the rising star of IndyCar. Is there, do you think that is it the, the team from last year to this year has made that much of an improvement? I know you have a new uh, you know, chief engineer, technical director and everything and you have that last minute swap. What do you think is the reason why you've improved so much this year? Well, uh, you know, I think... Uh uh, we just improved overall, you know, I, I'm a little more confident because I've done a year and, uh, uh, you know, I've learned a lot last year and I'm still learning, but definitely uh, everything I learned last year is helping me this year. And uh, uh, also with the team, you know, just being back with the same team, we, we got a new car, uh, which is helping us a lot. And uh, with the engineers too, you know, we've uh, had, uh, uh, you know, we, we, we started working together this year and it's working really well. And, you know, Brent, Brendan and I have really great communication right now and, uh, I think that's what's really making the difference. It's just that uh, uh, we really believe in each other in, in the in the team and just uh, work really well together. And also, having energy and nuclear clean air energy on board is uh, uh, is you know uh, making us go to the next step. So I, I think that's great to have them uh, with us this year. All right, now starts the long grind. That's the Indy 500. You'll be, I mean, the next few weeks is just Indy, Indy, Indy. Um, it's also the first oval race in the season. Uh, how do you change? How do you change? First off, your you yourself. How do you change your whole mental outlook when it comes to this, as opposed to you know the other races? You just show up Friday, practice, qualifying race. The Indies the weeks. Uh, yeah, Indies is very different, and actually, I think this year I'm a, a little more nervous a, about it because you know I've experienced it, and last year I kind of went into it didn't know what to expect, and uh, um, right now you know I know how the the whole week is uh, kind of going to go, you know, it's a lot of practice and it's actually kind of a little bit weird because it's really easy to kind of start working in the wrong direction because you have so much time on the racetrack. So uh, that's going to be kind of, I think, the biggest challenge, just really stay uh, focused, always try to improve the car and not get drifted into uh, a strange direction. And uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to it. You know, it's the 100th anniversary at the Speedway and uh, uh, just, you know, your second time around, it's, I think it's so different because you, you've experienced it and you know how big it is and uh, uh, you know how important it is. So it's um, uh, I'm really looking forward to go back there. Mm -hmm. Well, you did win Rookie of the Year last year, so it's good. It's a good place for you. Um, you talk about you know you might make the wrong mistake, you know, wrong setups of like that because you're so much time on the track. When you work with Brent, um, how much is your input? given to the adjustments on a car or do you rely more on the telemetry? Uh, no, I think, uh, you know, whatever, uh, Brent really believes in what I'm saying in the race car. Now, we haven't gone to an oval yet together, so it's going to be a little bit different because I have, um, 
I, I don't have that much oval experience. He has more oval experience uh, compared to me. So, uh, you know, I think I'm going to be relying a lot on him. But, uh, you know, I think he, he really trusts what I say. And uh, that's what we have been doing on the road courses this year. And we've really worked together with my feedback and a little bit of telemetry. But uh, I think, uh, you know, uh, as long as the driver feels comfortable, that that's how it's gonna he's going to be fast. So I think that's the, the biggest thing this year. You know, it's just going to be uh, trusting each other. <laughs> All right, so for you, what will be the key to improve and have a good result at Indy? Well, Indy is such a, so different. You know, the, the track is so fast and there's so many things can happen. And uh, last year we had a pretty good run, but, you know, I've, uh, I've raced there. You know, I, like yeah, I've done uh, my first 500-mile race and uh, you, you kind of know how it's, how it's going to go, you know, how long it is, and you kind of know how to expect. There's so many pit stops and things like that. So I think it's just uh, making me a little more comfortable with it and being, okay, I think that's what we need, you know. I think also tuning the car during the race is going to be really important, which last year I don't, didn't really know how to how to do. So it was just um, it's just those little things that I've, I've learned from last year that is going to help us improve this year. And, uh, you know, and also Brent, I'm sure is going to, we're going to roll out with a pretty good car and uh, just work from there. Mm -hmm. right. Well, I wish you all the best of luck at Indy. It's, it is probably the biggest race of, well, for sure for you for the year, but probably in the world. I'm going to do a quick little change here, a little shameless plug. Our sponsor is racewatches.com for mm -hmm. our show. And sure. we carry BRM watches. And you have a connection with BRM watches. In fact, you have your own watch named after you. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so... BRM did that uh, last year for me, so we did a, a 78 uh, special edition pieces because uh, 78 is my car number. And uh, you know, it's uh, BRM is a great company. They do unbelievable watches, and uh, you know, uh, uh, I'm really lucky to be partnered up with them this year too. I, I I ask this a lot of drivers. What is it with drivers and watches? You can talk to a drive any driver, any series. You talk to them about racing, they'll talk about racing. You change. You talk about watches. That's like the only subject they'll all want to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I think maybe you know, like you know, it used to like like people used to like get really cool cars, and now it's become cars and watches. You know, it's mm. kind of a combo. So, so I don't know. I think the watches, you know, they're kind of like a mini race car. You know, they're so technical and it's uh, it's pretty cool. You know, and uh, there's like BRM makes some unbelievable watches. You know, I always try to get a. Uh, the really big ones and things like that so uh, they're really cool and it, I, I think it's a little bit of a show-off thing but you know I think everybody likes to have a nice watch <laughs> <laughs> well Simona I want to thank you again you're great uh, good luck at Indy this year we'll be watching you thank you take care